Hey guys, wanted to go ahead and do a reaction video of Podcastage's uh, Dynamics versus Condensers video. And I recommend everybody check it out. I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio here. But basically, what he does is he has a dynamic and a condenser in front of him, and he has different ones. He has like the SM7B and the Rode NT1. Then he plays a fan in the background. And when you look at the RMS values, you can actually see what is actually rejecting more of the sound behind it. And in, in each, actually, in each comparison, so the first one was the SM7B versus the Rode NT1. The NT1 was picking up more of the fan. In this comparison here, which was the SM7, SM57 versus the Neumann, I think, K, like KM184, uh, the SM57, the Dynamic won. In all three cases, the Dynamic was actually picking up less. Even in this one, where it was the SEV7 versus the KMS105, very, 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 very close, almost identical, almost identical, but still at the end of the day, when you actually look at it, um, so that's the condenser, negative 58, right? That is the KMS105. And then we now negative 57. And then that's the condenser. That's, I mean, that's the dynamic, the SEV7. It's rejecting more. So what's my overall takeaway? Number one, do dynamics reject more than condensers? Uh, no, not necessarily. Because if you look at the, the, the Neumann, the KMS 105, that was rejecting close to almost negative 60. Well, when you compare it to other dynamics, it's rejecting more than other dynamic microphones. Um, so actually, hold on. Let me just show you what, what I mean. It's like negative... Okay, anyway, let's keep going. Anyway, it's if you look, yeah, right there, negative 57. That was doing better than some, many of the other dynamics. It's a kick-ass microphone, right? So clearly it's not as simple as dynamics versus condensers. But I do want to address something that's important. Um, it's not just a distance thing. It's not just a distance thing. Because, you know, because what people tend to say is that if both microphones were put at the same distance, they'd be the same. No, they're clearly not. Because when you look at the SM7B and compared it to the NT1, the NT1 was picking up all the fan, and the and the, the SM7B wasn't. So what this does, it actually disproves this theory. And podcasts has proved this throughout. I think we all can agree to disagree, or agree, everyone can agree who has watched this video, they're not equal. And in many cases, the dynamic was actually winning, uh, but they're not equal. I think, let's agree on that, okay? When you put microphones at the same distance, they're not equal. So I don't know. This is this is this is hogwash. Like this is not true. Okay. So what is my overall take on this? Well, let's just simplify it and really make it simple. At the end of the day, right? So um, at the end of the day, what matters most is just look at the microphone how it's supposed to be used, right? Is so with condensers, large diaphragm condenser microphones, you're typically around six to eight inches away, and with dynamic microphones, you're typically around you know three fingers away, so to say, and that's where it's going to sound best. Um, and so just really just ask yourself, do you have a treated space? Do you have a booth? And if you don't, then you almost always want to go with the dynamic microphone just by the sheer fact that it's going to be picking up less of the room. But what I also do want to say is not to confuse you further. It's not just a distance thing, because if it was just a distance thing, why is the SM7B winning here and the NT1 losing here? Right. Why is it in here? Why is the SEV, why does the, uh, you know, why does every single dynamic win here? You know what I mean? It's not just a distance thing. And that's what makes this confusing. You know what I mean? Um, but just to not confuse anything further, just follow a simple rule here. Do you have a treated space? Yes or no? If your answer is no, then go with a dynamic. It's really that simple. You know, or actually, hold on. Let me go back. Go with a dynamic or go with a super cardioid, you know, stage microphone condenser like a KMS 105 and blow 800 bucks. There you go. That's the answer. Okay, so that's my takeaway. All right, goodbye.